It's being billed as a revolutionary hands-off experience and an important test of so-called driverless cars. Over the next few days, it's hoped this vehicle, packed with all the latest software, will navigate safely across the US with no human help. But the makers of this system are far from alone. In recent years, many other companies, including Google and Tesla, have been working on autonomous vehicles. Some are even predicting that self-drive cars could be on the roads in the next few months. Engineers say that this kind of driving will reduce congestion, accidents and save fuel. But many in the industry think that fully automated cars are still a long way off. You've got some big factors that still have to be handled and considered. And the biggest ones would be the legal and liability issues, as well as the inclement weather issues that are still challenging a lot of these programmers when they realize that the sensors and the cameras can be covered by, you know, uh, muck, snow, mud, ice. But it's hoped that challenging drives will help engineers gather critical data. They're quite surprised uh, seeing me not driving the car but uh, reading a magazine. Making self-driving cars safer and more capable. According to the World Health Organization, more than a million people die on the roads every year, a number it's hoped could be greatly reduced by this kind of technology. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera.